previously. This is again, where they felt shit, blue's back. Blue back. I'm like half incredibly excited, half scared of this damn dinosaur. <laughs> From hotel to hotel, Honolulu to Taipei, nearly 24 hours. Um, I left at like midday in Honolulu time. Look at me, I look atrocious. Ugh. Um, and now it's like two o'clock in the morning, Taipei time. Um, and I think I've been in about three different time zones in that entire time as well. So technically this is day two of Taipei. Um, even though yesterday morning I checked in at 2 a.m., tried to go to bed, tossed and turned a lot, and then ended up waking up and feel, well, I was feeling pretty average. I'm talking like that congestion, nasal congestion, sinus, and just exhausted. And I don't know if it's because I was in like four different time zones in, in the f less than four days, whatever it was, but um, something's taken a toll on my body, all that traveling. So all yesterday I pretty much spent it in bed just trying to rest and recuperate and I went to the sauna to try and steam it out. Um, so far I'm not completely sick. It's still there <laughs> and I only slept five hours now, woke up at 4am, ding. So I'm going to try and pretend that I'm just not sick at all. Um, up today I've got the, so last night actually I watched um, about 13 minutes of Ant-Man and the Wasp, it's not much at all. Um, so this morning I'm going to go to the press conference and hopefully hear a little bit more about the movie from the cast themselves so I can start putting together my questions to ask them. 13 minutes is, of not, is not much. I actually learnt more in the trailer than I did from the movie. That doesn't say anything, does it? Alright, I'm out and about at the, um, I'm seriously doing my own lighting here, look at this. What? <laughs> um, out and about at the hotel where we're going to do the press conference first up for Ant-Man and the Wasp. So they're going to basically transform a ballroom into the press conference. Um, and I'm in the APAC group, which is like, I think, what's APAC stand for? Australia Pacific? Australia Pacific. Good. Um, so there's a couple of Aussies here, but there's a mixed bag of journalists happening. Um, maybe I'll get a question in, but I basically want to learn as much as I can about the movie before going in to interview the cast. I'll be having a chat with Paul Walker. No! I'll be having a chat with Paul Rudd and, and uh, Evangeline Lilly. I'll get that by the time I talk to them, I hope. It's a bit of a tongue twister. I haven't finished my coffee and I've been up since 4 a.m. So come come me some sights, guys. So this is what the actual press conference is gonna look like. Big stage, all the seats there. So basically they're gonna line up, have a chat, and then this is where all the press is gonna be. Hence it being a press conference. But in it, it's so cool. I don't know if you've seen the trailer for it yet, but um, the wasp blows up a salt shaker to stop a bad guy from leaving and he runs into it. So that's up there, it's a cool little prop. This is pretty cool though. Good on you, Taipei. Uh, Ant-Man, uh, why Ant-Man was such a runaway success because there's a comedic side of Ant-Man and also like, it's just so cool to see, just to shrink and get big, right? And you know, it, there's obviously computer generated effects that have developed so much. Also, oh, not that everything really shrinks? No, 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 what I was gonna say. <laughs> what I was going to say is that the most exciting stuff for us is seeing practical things really big on set. We do have items that were massive. 